Hello everyone. Um, hello everyone. My name is Jay Winchester and this is my entrepreneurship final proposal. Um, just to give a little backstory on myself. Um, I have been working for Cherokee Central Schools, which is a nonprofit um, located in Cherokee, North Carolina. Um, we are a tribal school uh, for the past going on six years. Um, I started as a administrative assistant um, and then ended up being able to uh, move into a coordinator position for the department. Um, so in our department, it's called the Community Fairs, we handle development, which is all of the grants for the campus. We handle um, the Chief Joyce Dugan Cultural Arts Center, which is a um, community center as well as educational theater, top of the line. Um, we also handle public relations. Um, my director is the PIO, and then we, I fill in any time um, needed. And something that I personally just handle on my own is just overseeing um, through the department is the after school program. So that is what my final proposal is going to be on today is is the after school program after or after COVID. Um, in our department, we kind of fall fell into the to take charge of COVID as far as policies and procedures and things went for the past year. So after school kind of got put to the side. And um, for those in education or those who you know have children yourself, um, after school can be very important. Um, not only do we have working parents who could use the extra hour, um, we also offer tutoring and enrichment as well. Um, this year, because we received some ARPA funding, um, I was able to structure it more um, on a larger scale than I ever have before. So in this proposal, I am going to talk about a little about what I had to do um, prior to now to get the funding. So when we were applying for our ARPA funds, something that got brought up is, you know, how are we going to help these kids? That fell behind and um, my bright idea was like let's concentrate take our normal budget that we have for after school and we're gonna concentrate on enrichment with it and then ask for the ARPA funding to to handle all of the um, tutoring or you know um, makeup as far as we can go or as far as anything educational um, it was approved so just a little outline of the program. Um, it is pre-K through 12. Um, I try not to run too many pre-K pro programs or kindergarten programs because it is harder to keep them after school. Um, we run an hour after. I provide buses for anyone who needs buses. I provide snacks for all the students and we, I'm in charge of three supervisors. So I do a coordinator in each school, each coordinator in those schools um, work with the staff. So elementary and our school, since it is pre-K through five, has around 700 students and then middle school has um, between 350 and then high school runs around a little over 400. Um, so overall on campus it's a pretty large number. What I try to do and kind of my rule of thumb across campus is that we want every child to get to participate so I try not to limit those classes or those programs um, to smaller sizes. I just look for more staff to, to provide what I can. In addition to that, I pay my teachers very well. Um, they get $25 an hour for, for every day that they, or for every hour that they work. Um, I also pay for bus monitors because our busing is not handled in-house, we do contract that out, but the bus monitors do fall on us. Um, I run also run the program of four days a week, four to five days a week, which is different than what I've done in the past. In the past, I've only ran three just because of the busing costs, but this year, um, what we're anticipating seeing is a um, bigger need for programs such as that. Overall, we're really not sure what we're going to see um, with the effects of COVID in our students. So in planning this um, for the past month or so, 
I have anticipated everything I could possibly um, think of. I have gotten approved to bring in um, contracted employees as well. Um, so now what I have to do is propose this out to my principals. Um, and that might be a little harder um, or a little more complicated um, because with us going back to school and the cases rising, we really aren't sure what the future is going to look like. So everything that I've been working on as far as in-house proposals um, are, they are um, not for sure. They're not for certain. I don't know what it's going to look like in a week. I don't know what it's going to look like in a month. Um, all I can do is plan. I hope to keep it on the back burner for whenever I can use it. Um, something that I have have noticed in, in our district specific, I don't know about other districts, but we have a need for parents to be updated or educated or um, we, we like to give them an outlet of being able to ask, reach out to us for questions so that they're better able to help their students at home. So in my proposal that I, I wrote for the after school funding and uh, the ARPA funding and then the regular budget funding, um, I included something I call um, homework cafe, homework diner is what it is in some districts. So I provide a meal for families and they can come in and speak with our teachers and our teachers can show them how they can help their students do homework at home. Um, I think often, um, especially with education changing so much, um, it can be a little intimidating for a parent. And um, I believe that if we break that um, disconnect, or if we not break, well, break that stigma of like, I don't want to feel stupid because I don't know how how it's how it's done anymore. I don't want to ask for help. Um, I think we can better help these kids that are a little behind. I think that education is going to take a turn and how we're going to look at, at at this next year playing catch up as well as um, helping social and emotional needs is going to be really really important I have paired with my social workers and counselors in all three schools to see what we can bring in for stress management um, again social emotional help um, that we can do after school or even before school to give them a little bit of boost and something I am looking for actually because of the case numbers and us coming back to school this past week um, I am looking at what I can do to help them with coping um, I believe that after school is a great way to tackle some of that in case we have to go back virtual we were one of the districts who um, really was cautious and we did not go back to in-face learning until May of 2021 so we spent most of the year in virtual we went back for just a few months um, well, not even that. So we went back and then we went straight into summer break. So our kids have had a rough time and anyone who works in education knows just how hard it is. So I guess what I'm trying to do on my end is not only tackle the goal of, you know, providing my students with enrichment and tutoring, but as well as social and emotional needs and help prepare for what is, what is to come. So that's a little bit about my proposal that I'm asking and I have been on its ongoing project. Um, it, it has so many different avenues of approval that it is required to have. So um, right now it's, it's just a plan and I'm hoping that I can get my principals on board but without stressing them or my staff. I would hate to put an extra stressor on my staff if they feel like they are not able to handle it right now because, again, their social and emotional needs are important as well. So I really, really enjoyed this class. Um, it was something totally new to me. I didn't even know there was a term for what I do in the house um, so, or in my organization as a whole. So that was really eye-opening and neat for me. But I hope everyone had a wonderful summer, and I hope that you have a wonderful, safe, and healthy fall. Thank you guys.